In a speech highlighting risks in the Arctic from Russia and China, the U.S. Secretary of State questioned Canada's sovereignty in the Arctic. This is a direct result of the weak leadership of this Prime Minister and our deteriorating reputation around the world. Yes, it is. What is the Prime Minister prepared to do to demonstrate to the international community Canada's sovereignty over the Arctic? The Northwest Passage is a Canadian passage. It's internationally recognized. Our government is standing up to defend our interests. Our Minister of Foreign Affairs reasserted that today. Canadian sovereignty in the North is long-standing and well-established. It's where Canadians live and work. I lived there for six years. We will continue to defend our sovereignty, the peoples and the communities in the North and our national interests. It's been long-standing until this Prime Minister. He's hurt our reputation around the world and they claim to be calling other countries for help in our dispute with China. But is this Arctic slight shows, friends and foes alike don't take this Prime Minister seriously. He's too weak, weak to appoint an ambassador. He's too weak to bring a WTO trade challenge. He's too weak to even pick up the damn phone, Mr. Speaker. Canada's never been so alone. When is this Prime Minister going to start restoring Canada's international credibility? Unlike the Conservatives, who offer only divisive ideas and only try to divide Canadians, we are taking our relationships in the world seriously. We build allies, we build relationships, and we are constructively engaging in the world. The decisions he talks about are life-threatening decisions. These are arbitrary decisions by a Chinese government. We're working hard in a very concerted and organized way to address these deeply concerning decisions. We want to thank our allies like Australia, the EU, France, Germany for standing with us.